Hey, this is Mitchell with Authority Solutions. I want to talk to you guys today about Zoom. If any of you guys are using Zoom for your meetings, your online meetings, you might be running into a frustration that I'm running into, and that is I used to be able to just send somebody a link to my personal meeting room and they could join without a problem. Now Zoom is requiring us to have a waiting room or a password. Well, today I'm going to share with you guys how you can get around that and get back to the way it was before. So hang in there with me. What we're going to do first is we're going to actually sign into Zoom. Now, mind you, the reason why they did this was because they were trying to fix an issue with people jumping into rooms that they weren't supposed to be. And I can understand that they're trying to help, but for those of us that have been used to using it one way, it can get frustrating to have to make sure that people have those all that information or a waiting room where they can't really chat amongst themselves before you get there. Sometimes you're running behind by, uh, by a few minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna show you kind of how this looks. That is a brand new account, so this is how your account should look uh, yourself. It's gonna take you to your profile. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go down to settings. Make sure that we have a couple of these settings set um, the way I would set them, okay? So first thing here, let's see, meeting passcode. It actually shows you require a passcode, a uh, passcode for already scheduled meetings. So you can actually change that uh, personal meeting passcode. You can share that or show that. I actually changed mine to let me in for this example here that I'm doing for you guys, but you can edit that and change it to whatever you want to do. But change your personal meeting passcode to something. And then as we cruise down, let's see, schedule meetings, enable personal meeting ID. So enable your personal meeting ID right there is, is good to do. And then use personal meeting ID when starting an instant meeting. Um, if you've installed the app, you'll notice that there's a orange button that says new meeting. If you just click that, you want it to automatically create a new instant meeting for yourself and you want it to use the same meeting ID every time. Because what we're going to do to fix this and get it to where you don't have to give somebody a password or a passcode every time or have a waiting room, you need to be able to make sure you're using the same personal meeting ID every single time. So once you've done that and you have set your password, then we're going to go up here to your profile. And now it says use this ID for instant meetings. So now you know you're good to go. So you're going to use that ID every single time. You can show your ID if you want to. No big deal. Once somebody connects, they're going to see it. And then this URL is actually embedding the password. Now you say to yourself, well, that doesn't say let me in. No, it's a hash that they create from your password. So this password isn't the actual password, it's a uh, alphanumeric string, which is in fact your password. So what we're gonna wanna do though, is we're gonna wanna grab this URL, because this URL, and copy it to your clipboard with a you know, control C or right click copy, and with that URL, we're gonna go to a shortener. Now you can use any kind of shorteners, there's Bitly and Google has a shortener, I think, um, a number of these different ones. Me personally, I like tiny.cc. So tiny.cc is the shortener that we're going to today. And what we can do is we can put in our long URL. I'm just pasting it in here. So now I've got my Zoom link with my meeting ID, my personal meeting ID, and my embedded password. And I'm gonna go over here and create something like Mitchell meeting with Zoom. Okay, just something nice and long for our test here. And I'm gonna hit shorten. So now here is my tiny.cc slash Mitchell meeting with Zoom. Now, if I go and send that to anybody, I can send them the tiny.cc meeting, say it was, uh, Mitchell meeting with Zoom. So Mitchell meeting with Zoom. So now that URL, you can take that, whatever it is for you that you want to use, that's available to use, you can use that and now text it to people, um, put it somewhere uh, in a team page that you have or documents to be able to allow people to connect on a regular basis to your personal meeting ID. So you can just quickly start a new meeting, start a new meeting whenever you want. It'll be the same meeting ID. So this URL, the shortener, will work every single time. If I click that, you'll notice that it switches over to the long URL with the embedded password in it. And you can just check that, always allow open Zoom meetings, and it would actually open the Zoom meeting straight in. This works for people joining your meeting room before you're there. 
and there's no waiting room enabled. So now you can get back to the way we were doing it before. I hope this helps you guys out. The one thing I would recommend is that when you go to tiny.cc and you create the shortener, go ahead and sign up. If you sign up after you create this, as long as this is sitting here on the screen, it will remember that was yours and it will add that into your managed URLs. You can sign up for a tiny.cc account. You can manage this. I think they allow up to 500 different shorteners. So have some fun with it. I hope you enjoy being able to get back to using Zoom the way we used to use it.